Okay, good morning, everybody. I am currently really quickly gonna get ready for work. I do have another desk job. I don't know if a lot of you guys know that, but it's just kind of like a receptionist job, mainly on the weekends. And I have like 10 minutes to get ready. Not like I'm gonna do like any crazy makeup or anything, so it should be fine. Anyways, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're excited for a new vlog. I have been filming so much lately because I'm getting my wisdom teeth out in early April. So I'm trying to make sure I have enough videos that are going to be going out for you guys and like ready so I don't have to like overwork myself while I'm literally trying to like heal from getting my wisdom teeth out and it has honestly been quite a lot of work because i'm doing like twice the work almost than what i would normally do i don't really know what i want to do with my hair how about we come back to the hair and start on the face because i haven't even put on sunscreen yet today but yeah i've been pre-filming a lot so i've just been filming like almost every single day like i just ended one vlog and i usually do like two vlogs a month so not to the point where i'm vlogging my life like every single day and then possibly doing like i said down video or a reading vlog or anything like that and i know that there are so many people out there who do like weekly vlogs and they probably don't vlog like every single day every single moment but it is just so much for like every day just to be conscious of filming and i'm bringing this up because yesterday i was technically supposed to start this vlog but it just didn't happen. Um, I just needed a day off, honestly, from filming. I edited a ton yesterday and like I was still reading and still working, but I feel like having to be on filming wise every single day is just a lot. Anyways, this morning went to the gym. I did pull day at the gym and in my last vlog, I told you guys that I have started using the pulley machines, which has been a huge goal for me. And I have just been absolutely loving the gym lately i've been loving how it makes me feel i've been loving how being consistent feels and i am still feeling pretty good about the 75 soft i think we are almost halfway through too which is kind of cool i feel really accomplished i feel like this is the most consistent i've ever been with like taking care of anything that has to do with my health which has honestly made me just feel really good about myself because i feel like i've owed it to myself to do this for so long and obviously i haven't been like absolutely perfect you know like there are still some days where like i don't eat the healthiest or whatever like we've gone out for drinks with friends like once or twice but the main goal was just to create a better balance and we've kept up with our sorry i feel so awkward doing this but we've kept up with our workout routine the most and i feel like i've just been so much more conscious about how i've been eating and just making sure i'm living a more balanced lifestyle which is exactly what we were trying to do I just got back from work. I'm going to be completely honest. It was not the best day ever. It was just kind of a lot today, but I do have a pack of soap in, so let's go ahead and do that. I only got two things. The first thing I got, I've been wanting more nail polish. I do my own gel nails at home, and I've been kind of obsessed with doing them, but the nail kit that I got was like $28, and it's great quality, and I love it so much. I got it on sale. It's on my Amazon storefront if you're interested, and both these items will be too. They're all linked to my link tree down below in every single video that you watch, but the only thing is I only got six colors in that set, and I've just been sticking with those six colors the entire time that I've had it, so I wanted a few more colors, and I got this little set of green because green is actually my favorite color i mean at the moment anyways i feel like it always changes so i got all these shades of green i'll probably put like the picture of what they actually look like here because zero idea what that sound is okay but i'll put the picture of the colors right here so you actually know what they look like because it's kind of hard to tell from that but i'm really excited to have more colors to play with and i've honestly been doing a lot of designs with just the six colors that i've had and i think it's just time for a little bit more because i've been doing the two-handed moment the past few times and i've been loving it i think it's so cute and i feel like there's so much you can do with like a few colors of nail polish but it's just nice to have like a little bit upgrade too especially because it's my favorite color the second thing i got i'm really excited about because it's just going to add convenience to my life and as I've already said, I've been doing the 75 soft and we're on like week five, I think. And okay, hold up, gotta go grab my lunch. Okay, I'll show you that after I'm done doing this. But as I said, we're doing the 75 soft and I kind of wanted like a little reward for doing super well so far. I do have Stanley cups. The only thing with Stanley cups is that they have a straw and they're kind of like, 
hard to take places and they leak and stuff like that. And then I also have these, which don't keep water cold for very long. These are Brita ones that I've had since I was in high school and I'm 23 now. And they work great, don't get me wrong. But the most annoying thing is that they get kind of like, they get kind of dirty up here from like the lid and stuff. Sometimes it's hard to clean. You have to keep refilling the filter and stuff like that. And our water is good, so I don't really need a filter anymore. I got myself and awala and i am very excited i just feel like it's going to be so much more convenient for whenever i'm out and about i love my stanley's don't get me wrong we have two in our household mainly because sometimes luke likes to use one at the same time i'm using one so that's why we have two but for out and about being able to just like throw this in my car and not worry about it because it's leak free or like throw it in my bag with like my books and stuff like that it's just gonna make me feel a lot better and it's just gonna be less to carry which is gonna be really nice and it's leak proof insulated and has a built-in straw so like like this is like the duo that I need. This is like my Brita and my Stanley's next together. I am so excited for this. And now I'm going to be drinking so much water for probably about the next few weeks because every time I get a new water bottle, that happens. But yeah, I just got the purple one. has a green and orange and I guess navy or is this gray? I don't really know. But it's very cute and I'm very excited to use this. I'm going to use this for the first time today. Oh, hot pink straw. Okay, love that sleigh. So I'm gonna wash this really quick and hopefully I end up liking it. We don't really have a ton in the house today, so I had to improvise. This is one of my favorite like lunches slash snacks. I made a little tortilla pizza. It's so good. I'm just gonna eat it like this. Mmm, yummy. I do kind of feel like I'm rushing right now. I have to leave at like 2.30, sorry, 15 minutes because I'm actually doing book club today. I'm so excited. I love my book club so much. So I'm meeting up with my book club girlies, Abby and Jordy, and we're going to start at Target because Abby hasn't bought, or not Abby, Jordy hasn't bought the book that we're going to start reading today. And then if we have time, I think we're going to run by a book sale that's happening at a local library, but we'll see. I think it closes at 5.30 and I know I said in my last book haul I was going on my book buying ban for March, but it's a sale so it's like half price today i'm gonna allow it okay because it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity you know it'll be fine okay and then let's pack my bag for book club i also don't know if i'm just gonna like stay out today because i don't know what the girls have planned the rest of the day so i don't know how late like we're going to be doing stuff together is kind of what i'm trying to say but if we're not going to be together that late i'm kind of thinking i might want to stay out for a little bit and read the book that i'm currently reading which is air of fire by sarah j mass this is the fourth book in the throne of glass series if you watch my last vlog you will see that i started it and i am like eating it up and loving it so far i just really haven't had the chance to like sit down and binge it so if i can do that today at a cafe after book club if it doesn't go too late i'm definitely gonna be doing that so i just want to make sure that i have like plenty of stuff packed so i don't feel like i have to go home because one thing about me is that if i am inconvenienced at all i will go home and then i won't do what i'm like wanting to do because i like don't like going out multiple times like coming home and then going I feel like that's reasonable, no? Like, I feel like you get what I mean. First things first, since we're going to book club, and normally I carry my current read with me almost everywhere anyways. Just show you that, Air of Fire. And then I also need my book club book, which is Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross. And Jordy actually got me and Abby these cute little bookmarks. Is that not so adorable? And it literally matches the book perfectly. And I probably said this in another vlog, but our first book that we read together as a book club was Divine Rivals. So it's only right that we read Ruthless Vows together. I'm so excited to start this today. So these two are going in the bag for sure. Then I'm gonna pack this bag this is kind of like a little pencil case i have all of my annotating supplies and i don't know i keep my airpods in here too just like little bookish things that i'm gonna need and then i'm also going to take out my wallet for my fanny pack i would rather put it in here than like carry this around too because it's just easier to carry like one bag and then i also have some snacks today we got a rice krispie treat and some pretzels and then my newest addition my awala i already checked and this guy like does not leak out all i am so happy with this purchase and now i am all ready to go to book club by the way i didn't say anything about my outfit yet let me show you i feel like i never vlog from this spot but i feel like this is actually a good vlog spot anyways this sweater is from american eagle it has like a little hood on the back so cute and then my jeans i thrifted these they're just super baggy and cute i have so much stuff on the floor and then other than that it's just the jewelry that i wear every single day and then i'm also wearing my new balance 574s with this outfit I'm so excited for book club today. It's going to be so good.
Okay, good morning, everybody. I just got ready for the day. Luke and I are gonna go run some errands, but before we do that, we're gonna go to breakfast. There's this breakfast place. I think I put it in one of my last vlogs. I can't remember, but they literally have like, the most incredible breakfast I've ever had. It's just this cute little cafe. I'm so excited to bring him there. Literally, since I have it, I haven't stopped thinking about it. So I am so incredibly excited. This morning, we went to the gym. It was leg day. We did it. It was fun. And Saturday was so, so fun. I just love hanging out with Abby and Jordy. They're just so fun. And I love our little book club that we have. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but literally in almost all my vlogs lately, I've been slicking back my hair today. We got it in a cute little bun type thing. My hair's just really been annoying me lately like i i just don't really know what to do with it i guess and i've been too lazy to heat style it so this is what we're going with as for outfit i have on my baggy jeans that i thrifted while we were in florida my new balance 574s and then this t-shirt from i think target i think this belt's from target too but i have two like overlay options because it's like a nicer day outside today I literally can't get this off. Both of these tops that I'm about to show you, I thrifted. I have this first one. It's like this green color. I think it's kind of cute. I don't know. And then this one kind of gives me the mom from the Parent Trap vibes. I think it's very cute too. I just, I don't know. I feel like, hmm. Let me go look at it in the mirror. I gotta look at the other one in the mirror too. I think I'm gonna go with the black and white one. I also haven't worn this one yet. And I think it's so cute and I've been wanting to wear it, so. This is the fit for the day. Okay, let's go to breakfast. Okay, I just got off work. I also changed into more comfier clothes and Luke just made dinner. That's why I'm picking back up the camera today because it literally looks so good. I have to show you guys. It literally looks so good. We're having roasted feta and tomato pasta with chicken. Yummy. Happy dinner time. And we're also gonna watch 90 Day Fiance because that's like our show obsession right now. He's best. Hey. So good. good morning everybody also okay random thought what we're just starting off the vlog today with a random thought i don't know how i feel about these gray couch covers not that it's i don't know if it's just because i'm wearing gray today or what just in general i just don't know how i feel about these gray couch covers they're super soft and obviously like these couches aren't gonna be like our forever couches or anything like that but i feel like because our walls are beige and it's not like we can paint in our apartment it just kind of makes everything look like very drab i don't know and just like bland so i feel like we should get like a color or something i'm thinking like a dark green let me know what you think because I genuinely feel like it would look really good. Earlier while I was watching the Taylor Swift movie because it just came out on Disney Plus today. So good. I already watched it once on Amazon Prime. I absolutely loved it. But like I was saying earlier whenever I started watching that this morning, I was working on my crochet project. This is the first time I have ever crocheted that at least I remember. I think I had like a little kit when I was younger. Actually, no, I think that was like weaving. So it's a little bit different, but... I actually joined a crochet club at this little local place in our town and I've been going with my mom and my grandma and it's just been really cute and kind of like fun, kind of do something with them. And right now I'm working on a headband. I'm kind of just now getting the gist of it. This is our second week and I finally learned how to like stitch into each other. It's obviously not perfect as you can see down here, but pretty proud of it. And I think it's gonna look really cute with the multicolored. I'm like so excited about it. It's gonna be so cute. I'd say I'm about halfway done. So I still got a little ways to go. So maybe we'll work on this a little bit more today while we're watching the Taylor Swift movie. Don't mind if I do. Luke and I also did go to the gym this morning and I would just like to announce to you guys and let you know that one of my other goals for the gym for the 75 soft has happened. I have officially learned how to use the benches and not just how to use them because obviously like it's not really like anything crazy i do know how to use a bench thank you very much but i'm finally not scared enough to like use them because the benches are on the other side of the gym where a ton of like free weights and stuff like that are and there's also just like tons of squat racks just like more serious stuff 
where the benches are and that's where like all the gym bros are and sometimes I get really really scared and kind of intimidated to be over there and I'm just so proud of myself I feel like I'm really enjoying working out and really like looking forward to it looking forward to it being a part of my routine it just makes me feel mentally really really good and yeah I just, I just been feeling great lately straight up I've been feeling great on the docket for today we're gonna have a little coffee shop work day which I'm pretty excited about and I do want to show you guys what I got yesterday from TJ Maxx I also had a different thing come in too from Amazon so I'm gonna show you that too you guys saw me go to TJ Maxx the other day and try on a bunch of stuff so I'm just gonna show you what I got from there but the other thing that I got that's right over there I'm actually gonna try on for you guys I'm really excited about all this stuff this is all like workout clothes because as we all know I've just been working out a lot more and I feel like it's going to motivate me a lot more in the gym whenever I have some more cute little outfits and I honestly didn't really have a lot of like summery workout clothes since we're getting into like summer and springtime now so that's what these are for starting with TJ Maxx I've already worn this but I got this jockey sweatshirt and it's this gorgeous like sagey greeny bluey color that I literally am so obsessed with green is my favorite color currently if you didn't know I like dark greens I like sage greens I like some light pastel greens this one is one of my favorites it's so soft too and it's just gonna be perfect to wear over all of my workout clothes and it also has those like thumb hole things things love big fan that sweatshirt was only $20 and then I got this biker short set so there's one in black and then there's one in like this light blue color not gonna lie these are like a little bit see-through the blue ones are but I'll just wear them on arm days hopefully honestly though it's like not that bad like probably only I would notice it because I did like the squat test you know what I'm saying if you're not doing that for workout clothes you really should be because I don't know about you but I'm really terrified that I'm gonna show everyone my entire if you know what I'm saying at the gym while I'm like squatting or something. So highly recommend doing that. But anyways, I got these and these were $20 as well. And then I got these shirts that I thought would go perfect with them. So it's a little two pack too. We got that cute sagey green color and then a white. We'll see how the white goes because I literally stain like everything. But I think it'll be fine since it's like a workout top. And I could also just wear these when I'm not working out. I really love this color. They're super soft. And then these were, these were only $15. So for all of these items, they were less than $60, which is absolutely insane. And then Luke literally never buys new clothes. So I literally have to like egg him on to do so. And he has a pair of like stained um, athletic sweatpants that he's had forever. And I was just like, you know what? Maybe we should like look for a pair while we're here, you know? So he got these really nice like ASIC jobs Joggers. And I think he's really gonna like these. These were only $17, so we love that. And then from Amazon, I got a workout set. Now, this was a little bit more expensive than I normally spend on stuff like that, but I felt like it was justified since I've been working really hard at the gym and I do wanna start getting more like workout sets where they match and stuff like that. And I will slowly like build up my collection because buying a ton of workout sets right now just isn't like financially okay for me personally and not okay these are from crz yoga i've heard amazing things about them i did like a ton of research on what the greatest bang for your buck is for quality on amazon so just look like this they have pockets and i am like obsessed with this color if i like these i think i'm also these leggings in black and then maybe a matching tank top too to go with it because i did get the tank top as well they feel really really soft we're gonna try this on really quick because i gotta know if it fits or not obviously and then here is the tank top just in the same color looking super cutie i really hope this fits because this feels like amazing let's try it on really quick guys i'm literally obsessed with this set it looks so good the only thing is that well i guess this isn't like a bad thing i mean these come up really high and they also feel like they're like not going anywhere like they're not gonna drop while i'm like doing anything at the gym which is really really nice but there isn't like a gap between the tank top and stuff which honestly i think i kind of like and it's not like too tight or anything like that up here this fits like amazing i, I i'm kind of obsessed and like i'm not really like the most confident girly at the gym like the other day was the first time in a long time where i've been able to feel like confident with a tank top on just because my arms are kind of a big insecurity for me i mean we all have our insecurities and stuff like that for me it's mainly like my arms and like my stomach area but i don't know this just makes me feel like really confident and good and like like i'm a gym girly this makes me so excited. Oh my gosh, with my Lala. Okay, safe to say that I'm going to be wearing this set all the time and that they're my favorite place to buy stuff now. Because $30 for like great quality leggings, 
you just can't beat that anymore you can't beat it and this i'll have this linked on my amazon storefront if you're looking for some workout sets or just some cute like walking or like active wear sets this is so comfortable just be nice for like athleisure and stuff like that too okay i'm definitely back thing I have left to do on this headband is to attach these two pieces together I this is this is like my first project ever and I'm gonna have to redo that because I just undid it love that for me this is like my first project I'm sorry sorry if you can hear Luke by the way um he's currently gaming with his friends and we live in a one-bedroom apartment so there's not much I can do I'm just so excited I feel like this is gonna look like so cute on my dark hair and we're gonna continue watching the Taylor Swift movie while I do this really quick let's see how long this takes me I didn't really like look up anything because my phone was charging and I was feeling too lazy to be completely honest Let's brush out the hair. Give it a fair chance. I'm really hopeful right now Ooh, Maybe I should take these off <laughs> Okay, it feels a little too big <laughs> I'm happy with like the patterning and the coloring all that kind of stuff I think it looks really really good but I feel like I did make it a little too big or it could be the fact that Luke tried it on before I did and his big head squeezed um squeezed hello stretched it out so could be that oh no no I'm just kidding I think I just made it too big um I don't know if I'm going to take it out and like make it small or anything because I can definitely tell a difference whenever like I make it smaller like just making it tighter makes like my hair poof out a little less I feel like I don't know and my ears too I don't know I think it's cute and it does the job and I like the little pops of color oh my gosh first crochet project in the books guys I'm so proud of myself right now and I've really been enjoying wearing my hair like this because my bangs have really been annoying me because they're getting way too long so oh my god I'm literally obsessed with it I'm so happy right now obviously it's not perfect but we're learning and that's all that matters while we're here might as well go ahead and get ready for bed Ooh, cute little messy bun wait if you don't have these these are literally lifesavers you need a pair i just really didn't take out any of my jewelry and now i feel disgusting and honestly i was just gonna finish the vlog after i finished my crochet thing because i honestly think that i have way too much content for this vlog watch it be like five minutes long and then i'm like literally scrapping the entire thing because i don't have enough anyways as we all know miss ariana just came out with a new album and it has currently been out for one week and i've honestly been like dying to chat about with you guys well, the first listen, when I listened to Eternal Sunshine, I was like, mm, like, do I like this? Like, do I actually like it? But that's how I am with, like, all music. Like, it really takes me time to, like, fully get invested in it. But if there's, like, a bop where I know all the lyrics, like, very quickly, I get invested in it a little bit more quicker. I don't know if it's just because my brain needs, like, instant gratification and it feels smart because I know the words to songs. I don't really know. But for some reason at first, I ended up liking the second half of the album more than the first half of the album. And now I'm just, like, 
really enjoying like almost the entire album i think besides like the last song i really like imperfect for you that one's really good we can't be friends reminds me of two characters from throne of glass if you know you know i saw it on tiktok and edit that song for them oh my gosh it loki kind of destroyed me and it's going on my throne of glass playlist immediately but i've been basically listening to it non-stop and i've been trying to listen to it in order because i feel like you kind of have to do that to get like the full effect of an album and i don't know i've just really been enjoying it let me know if you have a favorite song down below i'd love to chat about it with you in the comments honestly barely remember any of the like names to the songs that has a whole piece of like work and art i'm really enjoying the album i feel like there's so many new albums that have come out like recently like casey musgrave justin timberlake ariana grande taylor swift's album coming out so soon i'm so excited for that i know there's more that i'm forgetting too i just can't think of them off the top of my head guys i'm gonna be a really good vlogger and actually end my vlog for once and not leave you hanging so go ahead and like comment subscribe all that stuff don't forget to check out all my other socials if you're interested in keeping up with me on a daily basis and comment down below the soap emoji because we're in our skincare era right now as you saw comment down below that emoji if you watch until the very end of the video so i know who the real ones are and that's gonna be it i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys you guys want to be in my video and wave yes. say hi <laughs> <laughs> Great on you. Buddy, I'm adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's scoop it. Are you gonna scoop it out for me? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> day-to-day -day basses? Basses? Okay. Cheers! <laughs>